This podcast is part of the Listen Frederick Podcast Network. To learn more, visit listenfrederick.com. Hello and welcome to the Fedora Files. I am Gregory Fedora. So, as you know, it is the creepy time of year. We're getting close to Halloween. Uh, and you also know that I love AI. Actually, I don't love it, but I love to see what AI comes up with if you give it a prompt. And I love reading what they say. And I always find it entertaining because it's always lacking in my eyes uh, someday. or It's getting better. It's getting better. So... I thought we'd do another AI story challenge. This week, I went back to ChatGPT and Canva, and I gave it the same exact prompt. The prompt was, write a scary ghost story that takes place on Halloween. So we're going to get right to it. As always, we're going to start with ChatGPT because, uh, you know, that was the first one I came across. So it's always kind of like, I'm rooting for chat GPT. So we're going to start with that and we'll see what it says, what it came up with. And then we're going to go right into Canva. So uh, as always, I'm going to have a little you know, music going on and a little funness happening as we go through this. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for a chat GPT versus Canva Halloween story. Cue the music. The wind howled through the ancient trees on Halloween night, carrying with it a chilling promise of the supernatural. In the small, forgotten town of Hollowbrook, the air was thick with an eerie tension that seemed to come alive with every rustling leaf and flickering jack o At the edge of the town stood a derelict mansion known as the Hollowbrook Manor. It had long been abandoned and shrouded in local legends. The town folks whispered about the terrible curse that had befallen the manor's last occupants, the Hollowbrook family, who mysteriously disappeared on a Halloween night many years ago. As the evening descended into darkness, a group of brave teenagers, led by Lily, a fearless young woman with fiery red hair, gathered at the town central square. There, Dare was to spend the night inside the Hollowbrook Manor and emerge unscathed by dawn. The air was cold, and their breasts hung like ghostly specters in the air as they made their way toward the looming mansion. With each creaking step on the dilapidated porch, their hearts pounded in unison. The front door groaned as it slowly opened, revealing the pitch black void of the interior. They ventured into the mansion, clutching their flashlights tightly. The scent of decay and despair hung heavy in the air. The first floor was a labyrinth of decaying furniture and faded wallpaper. Flickering candles seemed to light themselves as they wandered, casting dancing shadows on the peeling walls. As they explored, an unsettling feeling of being watched followed them. Lily, fearless as ever, led her friends deeper into the mansion, descending into the basement. In the dim light, they discovered an old, forgotten library filled with books that were centuries old. The ancient tomes whispered secrets, and Lily's heart skipped a beat as she pulled one from the shelf. It spoke of a Halloween ritual that would summon the spirits of the Hollowbrook family. With nervous laughter, the group decided to test the ritual. They lit black candles, drew a pentagram on the floor, and chanted incantations written in the book. Suddenly, the room grew colder, and the candles flickered erratically. Shadows danced in the strange and disorienting patterns, and the air became dense with a palpable malevolence. From the darkness, figures began to emerge dressed in elegant, tattered clothes. The spirits of the Hollowbrook family had been awakened. Their eyes glowed with an otherworldly intensity, and they spoke in unison, their voices echoing through the room. We have been waiting, intoned, 
yourself to free us from our eternal torment. Lily's heart sank as she realized the grave mistake they had made. The spirits demanded that they take their place in the family crypt, which was located beneath the manor. The teenagers had no choice but to comply, for the spirits had bound them with an unbreakable curse. Together they descended into the crypt, a claustrophobic chamber filled with ornate coffins and an overpowering sense of dread. The spirits watched as the teenagers, one by one, were sealed inside empty coffins. As the lids closed, the darkness swallowed them whole, and their terrified screams were silenced forever. The spirits of the Hollowbrook family returned to their restless slumber, their curse fulfilled. From that Halloween night forward, the Hollowbrook Manor became a place of dread and despair. Its legend grew darker with each passing year. And in the quiet town of Hollowbrook, the memory of the brave but foolish teenagers who dared to awaken the spirits on the fateful Halloween night lived on as a haunting reminder of the supernatural horrors that lurked in the shadows. Well, that was Chat GPT's attempt at a scary Halloween ghost story. Um Okay, yeah, uh, not really, but uh, you know, okay, it tried, it tried, it tried, it tried. Maybe it was my reading that didn't make it scary. Uh, that was my first time reading it, but uh, oh well, you know, it 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 gave it gave it best effort. I will give it a B, a B, no C. It's dropping to a C. It's a C story. That's the kind of story I would have written when I was in sixth grade. Maybe there's a few words in there that are a little bit big for a sixth grader, you know, but the, the idea, like the, the scariness of it, that was like what I would have probably found scary at that age, um, especially if it was dark and I was reading it or telling the story by candlelight or someone was, I'd be frightened. Well, that was Chat GPD. We're going to jump on to Canva now. So let's see what they came up with and uh, see where it goes. So again, cue spooky music. The wind was howling outside as the sun set on Halloween night. The small town was quiet except for the occasional sound of trick-or-treaters laughing and shouting as they went door to door. But there was something else in the air, something that made the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. It was a feeling that something was watching you, waiting to pounce. A group of teenagers decided to explore the old abandoned house on the edge of town. Sounds familiar. They had heard rumors of strange noises and unexplained occurrences, but they were determined to prove that it was all just a myth. As they entered the house, they could feel the weight of the darkness enveloping them. As they explored the dusty old rooms, they heard creaking footsteps and eerie whispers. Suddenly, one of the girls let out a blood-curdling scream. The group turned to see her being dragged away by an unseen force. They frantically searched for her, but she was nowhere to be found. As they tried to leave the house, they found that the doors were locked from the outside. They were trapped alone with whatever was haunting the house. The temperature dropped, and they could see their breath in the air. The whispers and the shadows seemed to move on their own. Finally, they found themselves in a room with an old mirror. As they looked into it, they saw the reflection of a ghostly figure. It was a girl who had been dragged away, but she was no longer alive. Her eyes were empty and her face was twisted in a permanent scream. They turned to run, but the ghostly figure followed them, reaching out with icy fingers to grab them. As Halloween came to a close, the townspeople found the abandoned house empty, with no signs of the teenagers who had dared to explore it. Some say that on Halloween night, the ghosts of the past come out to play, and that the old abandoned house is still haunted to this very day. That was shorter, but basically the same story. I guess, you know, teenagers go to abandoned house, you know, it's cliched. It's, you know, I know I, I was hoping for more 
something cool. I mean, it is AI. Maybe that's what AI finds frightening as teenagers in abandoned houses with, you know, curses and stuff. But I think there's way cooler, you know, ghost stories that are out there that we could find or do and that are frightening or fun. And, you know, but there you have it. It's Halloween time. That's what chat GPT came up with. That's what Canva came up with. Scary stories. And uh, what are you going to do? That's what it was. Be all in all. So I hope that you have a very safe and happy Halloween. Uh, check out. Uh, <clears throat> there's another podcast. Paranorm Girl. Go check her out. He's doing a live show. And it's going to be on YouTube. Sunday. October 29th, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So look that up on your own. I, I can't do the calculations. But go check her out on YouTube and subscribe to her channel. She has great interviews. And she's going to be doing, you know, giving spooky stories. She has special guests. And she's going to have a giveaway. So uh, definitely go check out her thing. Uh, I, I've been on her podcast a few weeks ago. So check that out, too. That interview was a lot of fun. Uh, but she has a lot of cool interviews, a lot of cool stuff. So please check out Paranormal Girls Trick or Treat. And remember, to, as always, stay safe and keep searching. The Fedora. Check out FedoraCRT.com today.